we got us uh, we got us a nice 20,000 foot reel here brand new it's kind of how it comes packaged uh, yikes Ooh, that's wet Ugh. 50 pounds um, here's this plastic. Looks like we're gonna need it off there. Oh, nice fresh gown cable. Gown. But today we're just doing a little short one. Uh, we're gonna be leaving our facility here. Um, go into that box, go into the stop sign, going up one block just to hook up a uh, uh, six unit apartment complex. This is going to be kind of a shorter run, but it's a start. It's the first cable we're running in town. Um, we'll update here. We got our DWDM in, um, and I am now uh, fully routed um, through all five of our POPs. Uh, this new um, site, we got 10 gig OSPF is up. Um, I'm not so worried about it just yet, but I'm going to be adding a second uh, 10 gig um, optic. It's not really giving us uh, fiber redundancy, but it's giving us optic redundancy, switch port redundancy, patch panel cable redundancy. It's also been giving us 20 gig. Um, this is, I just left her so I can plug my laptop into something. Um, got our LT on, it's programmed. It is now hooked up in the system. Fun. Uh oh. I'm not... I gotta bring my air compressor. Cause this ain't doing nothing. Uh, and I'm gonna hit all this stuff. But I got a negative. I'm getting. I'm at a negative 10 uh, here. It's a 40 kilometer optic. Um, it has a negative 16 power budget. So uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, and. Uh, 27 kilometers and I know that there's some uh, there's more splices and a patch uh, there's a, a hut that we don't own that the it's patched from one patch panel to another patch panel so uh, but yeah cool uh, I'm gonna get back home and I got a cool uh, ZFS uh, project uh, lab that I'm gonna be messing around with tonight all right here we go uh, we have, I've had a handful of folks ask kind of what we've got going on and um, it's kind of cool putting this little uh, graphic uh, together and kind of explaining uh, how it's all working right now and some of the rings that we're working on. Um, currently we have three connections. Uh, we have a wind stream that's taking us up to Philadelphia uh, over a Verizon plant uh, fiber. Um, we have a cogent um, that's taking us to Ashburn, Virginia over a Comcast Layer 2. Uh, we also have a cogent um, 10 gig that is taking us to Baltimore over um, Maryland Broadband. Now, the reason this is yellow is because this is, right now I have two networks. This 10 gig connection actually goes over here and it's a whole nother network. Um, unfortunately, this is kind of where we started out wrong. Um, and I've been slowly migrating those customers over to this setup. Uh, the ultimate plan is to bring Cogent over um, and get it fully um, multi-homed uh, through Cogent. Um, so that's what yellow means. Um, so we kind of go, I'll just go top down through all this. Uh, these are our two core routers. Um, they are Dell R720s or R620s, I think. Um, they're the refreshed version of the 610. I think it's the six, six, yeah, the 610 is a refresh to the 620. Um, and they're set up pretty well, about as redundant as possible. Um, they have a uh, battery, they have two power supplies, uh, battery backups, um, two phases of power. Um, they have, this is a 20 gig, um, uh, bond between the two um, in case um, one of these uh, 
connections drop off, both routers are still functioning as uh, you would expect. And that actually happened to us about two weeks ago. Uh, Windstream went offline. Um, took about 40 seconds for all traffic to settle. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and unfortunately, Windstream were, was kind of a baby about it. They said that they found no trouble. Um, even though their ticket says they found trouble in Philadelphia. So they their ticket said they found trouble in Philadelphia on the optic. And then our sales rep was like, yep, no trouble was found. Uh, yet we still had a 10 hour outage. So uh, it's kind of funny how that works. Um, out of our core routers, we have 20 gig, um, a bonded uh, LACP style. Um, that's coming into our core Arista switch. Um, this is a switch stack uh, currently made up of two Arista 7050s. Um, and out of here, we serve a lot of our Salisbury traffic. We've got some OLTs hooked up to this core switch, but for the most part, it's taken us to other uh, towns. Now, this, 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 all located in the same rack. Um, but once we get out of that rack, uh, I'm sorry, this is also... Uh, located in that rack. I come out of that uh, core Arista to a 70, I want to say it's a 7048. It's basically the copper uh, version. It's the one gig copper version of the, of that switch. Um, it's still running OSPF, uh, even though it probably doesn't, nah, I don't know, probably doesn't really need to, but um, it does have a 20 gig connection um, coming out of the core switch into uh, this switch. Again, overkill mostly for redundancy. Um, and this is where all our telephone switches are uh, currently plugging into um, to provide our phone service for the customers. Um, we also use it for our management. I've got some VPN stuff going on um, and some lab stuff, uh, our time server and so on and so forth. Um, coming out of that switch, we've got some uh, fibers that are heading north. Um, this is everything uh, here that's going north. Uh, it's going, basically this is downtown Salisbury, um, and we take the bypass the long way um, to get around to North Salisbury. It's basically the, um, in, uh, in our town, that's like where the Walmart is, the Target, is. all the big box stores are up north as long, uh, along with the industrial park. And we are running OSPF over that link uh, currently. Um, out of that same uh, link, and you can kind of see this right here. Um, at, uh, <clears throat> the graph isn't really going to show it properly, but I'll kind of show you how this works. As we come out of this uh, core Arista switch, um, for us to get to Denton, um, we're actually leaving out of this connection right here, um, which has a switch that's then dropping us off into Denton. So this is a little misleading. So for Denton, it's specifically going uh, right um, out on this path through Maryland Broadband. Uh, our, our deal with Maryland Broadband is they give us this 10 gig connection, um, but they give it to us layer two in two different facilities. So it's we can kind of use it in some interesting ways. It is for, it's a 45 mile drive. I mean, it's an hour drive, it's 45 miles. Um, and we do have 10 gig shared, 10 gig capacity over that link. So um, it would be like 10 gig, but it's like five here and five there um, for the time being. Um, and we're, we're working, working on that to be better. Um, all our links that we control are a single fiber DWDM, allowing us to get 16 10 gig channels, uh, as long as the distance isn't too crazy. Um, so everything over here has all been set up for a long time. This is the new ring uh, that that's, we're working on here. Um, so leaving Salisbury to Princess Anne, um, I've had that done for quite a while, and it's been working for over a year now um, with no uh, no issues there. Um, the uh, same thing, uh, 160 gig uh, DWDM, and we're running OSPF from all of these uh, switches back uh, to the routers. This is the new project we've been working on in the last 90 days pretty heavily, um, is 
going from Princess Anne south to Pocomoke. Um, and that's where the fire, uh, the fire station is, our new um, pop that we just brought online. Um, and I do have it going on uh, right now, uh, 160 gig um, all the way through. Uh, in Pocomoke, we're actually uh, meeting up with a competitor of ours. They're a competitor, but they're like a friendly uh, competitor. We don't really overlap territories. So what we did, we built um, in Pocomoke a few miles uh, to them so that we can actually meet up. Um, what we're going to do is they are going to give us, we're going to share a 10 gig connection between the two of us. So all uh, their IPs and all our IPs, we're going to announce together. Um, and what it's going to be, it's going to be like an emergency. I'm going to call you and say, hey, can you flip me on? And that would flip this uh, connection on so that if there was, let's say, a s cut right here, um, we're, we have a phone call, uh, basically a phone call to a new path. And that runs vice versa. So let's say they get disconnected. Um, we have completely separate plants that are getting us back to some of these places like Philadelphia and Ashburn and Baltimore. Uh, pretty cool. Um, they are, um, old, uh, X Verizon guys. So, uh, should, should be fun. Um, the next leg of our, <clears throat> um, build is getting us to Snow Hill. Um, so Talky actually has a path from Pocomoke to Snow Hill, um, that we are going to lease a single fiber, uh, from them. And once we get to Snow Hill, um, we're going to bring Snow Hill straight back to Salisbury. Um, and that right there um, will complete uh, this ring. This is uh, Wicomico County. Um, this is Somerset County. Yeah, just making sure I'm saying this right. So yeah, Wicomico County, Somerset County, and then this is War Worcester County. Um, so once this final two phases are complete, um, we should be fully redundant in every single town and even pick up, we're picking up a fourth, um, uh, backup kind of connection here. So, um, cool. Well, I just kind of hope everybody, uh, thought that was kind of fun, um, a little bit. So I don't know.